Do you guys smell that? It smells like a great day to take the John boat out. Well, it would be a great day to take that boat out, but it's in the process of getting repowered, so it's gonna be a John boat kind of day. I haven't put the John boat in the water. Hey, bud, what's up? How you doing, buddy? Good morning to you, too. It's been over a year since I've put the John boat in the water. And if you watched my last video, I installed a trolling motor. I got this 1987 eight horsepower Evinrude to run. I hope it doesn't break down on me. <laughs> Probably gonna break down on me, but that's why. I got me a couple of oars. Or oars, oars, and oars. What? <coughs> I'll put those up there. I gotta pull this John boat out and we're gonna launch it over there. I got this contraption here, which hopefully pulling the John boat won't be too hard. All right, so I can just pull this sucker out. Which way do I wanna pull it? I wanna pull it this way. Pull it this way. Okay. Now pulling it downhill is easy. Pulling it uphill is rather difficult. One of my tires is flat. I think I just got myself into a predicament. Okay, I put some fresh air into the tires. Pop it back in. Oh, much better, much, much better. Man, can't get any grip on these rocks with my feet. There we go. Uh, even though it's just a John boat, I got a trailer it because it's heavy. Who's your daddy? <laughs> I am. Me. I'm doing it, boys. Oh boy. I haven't used this boat ramp in like a year and a half. And I will say this, you see those rocks over there? That's where the mangroves used to stop. Those were about three feet back. None of this shrubbery was here. See these rocks? These were clean rocks. What is, what is all of this? What am I going to do about this? <laughs> Can somebody say timber? <sighs> that was a great start. What a great start to the day. You think you can just grow wherever you want, huh? I feel like I'm dragging a dead body right now. I don't know why. I feel like I've done something bad. Got my trolling motor battery. That's a heavy boy. Uh, where do I want to put it? I want to find a nice spot for it, but I'll just put it right, right there for now. I think that's a good spot. Let's get some fishing poles. What do I want to fish today? Do I want to fish artificial lures? I would like to get some live shrimp. Looks like I'm going to be fishing artificial lures today, boys. It's been a while since I've done this kind of fishing. So I just spent like 30 minutes scrambling whatever lures I could find. I got a bucket with a net in it. If I find some live bait, I'll cast net it. If we do catch some live bait, I'll use the South Florida Fishing Channel number two circle hooks. Put the live bait on that toss it into some mangroves the snapper will go crazy guaranteed way of catching a fish but i'm not counting on getting any bait these hooks work good too these are the weighted hooks great for yellowtail i'm gonna put those away because we don't got any bait if we don't catch any bait we got our new prototype jig heads the one eighth ounce and the quarter ounce and we're gonna be putting the bottom candy they're like little octopus tails. We'll be putting those on there. I got a couple different sizes. So we'll try that out. I'm gonna have a second rod, which I'll probably have rigged with the DOA Terrorizer. I've always gotten a decent amount of hits on these. I haven't fished one of these in like six years. Then I also got just a whole bunch of like top water lures, some Irodine lures. A lot of this stuff is like bass fishing lures couple of little flies you know I, I got it all get out there see what they want you don't know what they're eating until you get out there look at this guy Woo! I'd eat that all right I got a rope tied to it as you can see I got her loaded down there is a drain plug oh my gosh <laughs> this thing uh, has been just sitting in the sun for a long time I hope it still works that goes right in there you tighten it. All right, that's in there nice and tight. Half a tank of fuel, that should be enough. Oh, I should probably get the cowling on here properly. There we go. 
And yes, it might just be a John boat, but I got all the safety gear, flare gun, distress flag, radio, first aid kit, tourniquet, all my licenses, even got an EPIRB, doing it safe, got my life vest, which I'll shove up in the front, got my speaker for some music. I don't usually listen to music though when I fish, my camera bag. I got a cooler with some drinks, some ice, you know, water, orange juice. I got a net. I'm gonna get a little cup. In case I get water in here, I can use it to scoop out the water. Got the fishing poles, cast net. I put all my lures in this little ammo field box. I think I'm good to go. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna drop it in. I'm just gonna wheel it in. <laughs> Why does this feel so sketchy? Oh, it's heavy. It's a heavy boy. All right. Oh, well, I'll get in there. All these mangroves are in the way. I thought this, oh, oh, it's sliding off. It's sliding off, boys. See, I got that Fasco super slick epoxy on there. So, <laughs> that sucker slides off real easy. The super slick epoxy, bottom coat that I have is actually made for airboats. It'll literally slide off anything. So if I hit anything or get in shallow water, it'll just slide right over it. I didn't even need to bring the car back here. The only time I need the car is to pull it out. That John boat, when these tires are in that mud and stuff, it is impossible to pull it out. We had two guys last time and we barely were able to get it out with two people. Normally all these mangroves aren't here, so. <laughs> Look who it is! It's Yeehaw! Boodle bang damn! Man, I am stoked! Are we gonna catch a fish today? Leave a comment, yes or no. Am I gonna catch bait today? What do you think? Bait? Fish? I don't know, what do you think? I'm gonna grab my sunglasses and then we gotta head out. Whew. Well, I just spent like 15 minutes looking for my sunglasses only to realize they were around my neck the whole time. <laughs> oh boy, what a great start to the day. I'm debating, do I wanna wear shoes on the John boat or do I wanna go barefoot? Oh yeah, baby, that feels good. Oh shit. <gasps> oh man, I cannot describe the feeling right now. It's been a long time coming since I've been wanting to get out here on this John boat. Crystal clear water. Here in the Florida Keys, gonna do some mangrove fishing. My freaking John boat that I've been like working on and off on for feels like years now. I don't know, a year, two years. I got muffins, blueberry muffins. I even brought a beer in case I catch a nice fish. I'll have me a celebratory drink. My confidence level in this engine starting is like medium high. I do need to get a better kill switch for this thing next time. Whoa, that started right up. Whoa, oh, oh, bogged out. Okay, uh, try that again. I forgot to prime the ball. That's why it's not starting. Silly me. There we go, much better. <laughs> this is hilarious, I don't know. All right, let's see if, put it in reverse. I'm not gonna go too fast today, but maybe I will. I don't know, man, I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll go really fast. I do wish I had the safety leash just in case I did something stupid and the boat took off on me, so don't hate on me too much for that. I didn't have one, okay? I really wanted to go fishing today. My I'm sorry. No, I'm gonna keep it safe today, all right? I'm gonna keep it slow. I'm gonna keep it mellow. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Man, it's, she's running great, dude. She's running great. Man, I'm, I'm feeling good right now, yo. I'm feeling real good. Now we're gonna use our trolling motor. On the trolling motor it is kind of windy i'm probably gonna get blown into some mangroves here soon we're in action boys 
I should probably have a fishing pole in my hand, right? <laughs> I'm just so like in awe right now that like the trolling motor is working, that motor is working, and the wind is blowing pretty hard, so we're like moving, so I'm just taking it all in, trying to figure out how this boat maneuvers. I've never used a trolling motor before, so you know, just trying to figure it out. That's why there's no fishing pole in my hand right now, because if I had one, I would have already crashed. Just gonna cruise around, see if I can spot any fish. Hopefully we find some fish, and hopefully we find some bait. And once I spot some fish, I'll just make a game plan. I've already spotted a couple of barracuda, not really what I'm, I'm trying to get a mangrove snapper today but right now i'm just trying to dodge all these mangroves oh got shallow right there my trolling motor hit gonna be careful i'm gonna stay in the deeper part there right there it's pretty shallow if we had two people this would be perfect because then i can be up here driving while someone in the back is casting soon i'll be a professional and i'll be casting and driving there's a barracuda sun tanning himself right over there but not what we're after Unless I get desperate. Oh, I'm having so much fun right now. I should probably tilt that motor up. What do you think? Should I have that tilted up while I'm trolling? Probably, right? Oh, some fish just skirted off. I've seen some big schools of pilchards like hanging out here by the mangroves, like in the shade during the day. All right, I'm grabbing a rod. Oh God, we're gonna crash. See, the second I wanna fish, I'm gonna crash. Okay, what do we got here? All right, I grabbed the DOA terrorizer. Fish looked at it. Fish swam up to it and looked at it. Didn't bite it though. Hello. Pretty good. <laughs> Catch anything yet? Uh, I have been almost every day, just not today for some reason. Not today? Oh man. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out there. Yeah. Was that a nice interaction? Was that like a good interaction? I gotta get better at my people skills. How long do these batteries last for? I mean, what if my trolling motor battery dies? I didn't bring a second battery. I don't have no, I have zero idea how long a trolling motor battery lasts for. Can I do this for like five, six hours or am I gonna run out of battery? If I'm gonna catch a fish, I need to start fishing. Shit. No, not the bush. Do not leave a comment. Whatever you do, do not leave a comment. Trolling motor, take me backwards. Uh oh, take me this way. Oh yeah, I'm a professional. I'm a professional trolling motor driver now. Like this is definitely where I fall in the water, like right here. You know, the great thing about a John boat is I can just plow into these trees, and it's all gravy. Where's my lure at? There it is. Holy shit. <sighs> Oh, All right, we got my lure on the road again. <laughs> I'm just trying to catch a fish, but really I'm trying to figure out how this boat works. I tilted my engine up so it's not touching anything. And we're on the flat. Let's cast our lure around here. I'm using a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader just on this light action rod here. I kind of want to fish a top water because it's very shallow here and this thing's getting stuck keeps hitting the grass. Since this flat is so shallow, I'm gonna use a top water. Boy, does that cast far. Wow. Wow, that is a noisy, noisy top water. I love it. I just had a big barracuda chase it. Oh, there's two big barracudas right there. Shit. They took off when my bait, when the, when my lure hit the water, they took off. Damn. There's people push pulling and fly fishing over there on that flat. Makes me feel so fancy right now. I'm one of the, I'm one of them fancy folks that push pole and fly fish and do all that fancy stuff. <laughs> Man, if I had live bait right now, there's gotta be some around here. I should have came out here like early in the morning. It's like the middle of the day. It's 1 p.m. It's like the worst time to fish. Oh, fish, fish. See, sometimes you just gotta complain a little bit. My top water is probably scaring every fish in a two mile radius. 
there's bait breaking everywhere, but I'm not sure what's chasing them. It, it, oh, I'm on! I'm on! Dude, I got a fish! Holy boys, boys, I got a fish! Oh, <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! I got a fish! Boys, I got a fish! What is it? What is it? <gasps> no, it got off! Let's just say that was a, a nice permit, a flats permit, a beautiful inshore flats permit. That's all that was. Beautiful inshore permit. Big stingray. Hey, you can eat those, I think. I need to come out here and catch me a stingray. The poor man's scallop, as they say. It's a little bull shark right there. Little baby bull shark. I'm pretty sure that's a refugee boat washed up over there. No way, I gotta go check that out. Holy, I got, where's my camera at? This is crazy. That is buck wild. Crash landing on the, oh, big bonnet head shark. That's a good eating. You guys see the bonnet head? I don't know if y'all can see him. It's a big boy. That's a big juicy bonnet head. They kind of look like a hammerhead, but they have a rounded, rounded face. I went and put this Mirodine lure on. They don't sink, so it might work pretty good. It's a little beat up, a little rusty, but I gotta buy some more tackle. This lure looks like a pilchard, so I think uh, I think it'll do pretty good. Oh, you see that? Big nurse shark. Whoa, big stingray. This is a cool spot. Just had a big barracuda chasing my bait. Haven't seen any snapper yet, though. Hmm, what is that? I just saw a fish swim by. Oh, it, a sea, sea turtles. You see a little sea turtle? There's two of them. They're sleeping. I woke them up, I'm sorry. I'm still thinking about that nurse shark. I'm thinking nurse shark battle on the John boat. Cube up the nurse shark, slow cook it. Like a slow cook cube nurse shark stew. Oh man, that's making me hungry just thinking about it. <whistles> yes, sir. Come on, boys, fish on. Oh my God, I foul hooked a, uh, a ballyhoo. <gasps> I need that. That is good bait. Oh yeah, baby. Wait, I just realized. Did I bring a knife? Okay, good, I brought a knife. <laughs> I can use chunk ballyhoo with my weighted hook. I can't believe I just snagged a ballyhoo. My luck might be changing after all. I snagged a ballyhoo. Now I got bait. What a stroke of luck. Now I just have to find some snapper and I'll drop some bait on him, but I haven't found any snapper yet. Hmm. Since I got a bait, I'm gonna run out and see if I can get a, find some snapper holes. There's gotta be snapper out here somewhere. Look at this. Big stingray right there. Oh, look at him go. Some stingray scallops. Woo! Man, I brought the wrong gear out today. The water is beautiful. And I will say I'm very proud of my boat. We're in like four inches of water five inches of water and we're just sailing smooth sailing across it i had to raise the trolling motor a bit but it's doing work the possibilities are endless i just gotta find the fish this feels like a nice spot i don't know why i just got this feeling that it's a nice spot i think i want to tie off to this tree right here and i'm gonna fish this okay we're tied off now i'm just gonna relax a bit cut up some bait drop a hook just relax here's our ballyhoo i'm only asking for one fish you know that, that's all i want just one nice snapper or something something i can throw in the pan you know i'll throw the head in the water to get the juices flowing get the fish excited this is the number two South Florida Fish Channel circle hook. I'm gonna like bury it inside of a piece of ballyhoo. And we'll just flick this on back there. Just let it go back with the current. 
Oh my god. Yo, those are some big waves, buddy. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Handled it like a champ. Now, if this ain't a good time to have a beer, then I don't know when a good time is to have a beer. We living it up, boys. We got our bait in the water. Got a cold beer in our hand. Now we just need a bite. Yeah, catching fish is overrated anyways. We all know we're out here for the beer. Don't get much better than that. I mean, maybe if we had a chick out here, but <laughs> about... Ooh, whoa. I got four pieces of bait left. The sun's kind of going down. I haven't got a bite, not even a nibble here yet. I don't usually mangrove fish. I'm a little out of touch, okay? I admit that. I'm gonna try a different spot though. If I can just catch a fish on my circle hooks, then everyone will buy them and I'll be rich. Come on, get me a fish, baby. Let's find that fish. <laughs> Woo, first pull. <laughs> and we're off! The key to catching fish is to come up to your spot real fast and real loud with your two stroke. That way you scare all the fish, you let them know you're there. That's the best way to catch fish. But this spot looks pretty good to me. Why does it look good to me? I don't know. It actually does look good. I don't, that looks good right there. Okay, I'm gonna tie us off here. I just had a fish attack my bait, so I feel pretty good about this spot. Can I make any more noise? I am the worst. There, <laughs> that should hold. <laughs> what kind of knot was that? I have five pieces, five pieces of bait left. Let's try to make something work here. There's little glass minnows down there. So a lot of little bait. I see a mangrove snapper, but he's tiny. He's like four inches big. But maybe if there's a baby, there's a mama. Baby mama drama, if you know what I'm saying. Ooh. I just had a fish come and peck at it. Pecked it and looked at it, and then it swam away from it. It was like a small snapper. That's about as good as, I, as I've got right now. I just had a nibble, boys. Oh. Oh. What? What am I stuck on? Guys, I think I have a fish on. Felt like a nibble there for a second. Ooh, I got my heart racing. This big ass boat just came by. It had four engines, brought me some waves. Woo-wee! <laughs> well, you really got a balance on this thing. Oh, that wasn't so bad. It's time that I fish two poles. I'm gonna put these weighted yellowtail jigs. Put that on there. Put me a nice chunk of ballyhoo on there. I'm gonna chuck this bad boy out into the channel and hopefully something swims by and eats that. I got that rod chilling, I got this rod chilling, and I really wish I would have brought a, another beer. Now I'm moving spots again. <laughs> moving spots. This looks like an interesting spot. This is crystal clear, beautiful water. I can see all up into the mangrove roots. I can see over here into the deeper section. I don't see a snapper anywhere. I don't know if y'all see that, but there's mangrove snappers down there. I just got a hit on the yellowtail jig with no bait on it. All I do is I just let it sink to the bottom and I just bounce it. Just keep bouncing it just like this. And a fish came up and whacked it a second ago. There's some no seams out here now. They're starting to get pretty aggressive and I didn't wear a long sleeve shirt. And I have to keep moving because these no seams are way too intense. Oh, come on, get away from me, you little bastards. There is nice ledges down there. I don't see any fish on them, but there's ledges down there. I wonder if there's lobster. If there's lobster, under these ledges? Boy, let me tell you, I'm coming out here with a mask and we're gonna catch some lobsters. I feel like Christopher Columbus right now exploring. Exploring new lands. What are those, parrotfish? No, grunts, those are grunts. I love grunts. Honestly, I think chucking a chunk of meat in front of these fish is not the way to catch them. They're, these are smart fish. These are very smart fish. I need like a live pinfish or something. 
I just had something strike again. Nobody saw that. Shoot, I was recording. That means you guys did see that. Oh, God. Let me just catch a fish so I can just, so I at least, you know, can say, oh yeah, I caught a fish. I mean, technically I could say I caught a ballyhoo. Yeah, I caught a fish. How was your first trip on the John boat? Oh, it was okay, you know, nothing crazy, but you know, I got a fish. That's probably exactly how I'm gonna say it for whoever asks me later today. The day's not over yet though. It's not over yet. Look how beautiful this spot is. Look at the water. It's crystal clear. There's so much potential here, boys. I just don't see any fish. There's a bunch of small snapper that were like, are really like pecking at my bait down there, but they, they're tiny. They're like four inch snapper, but I just want to catch one so I could say I caught my target species so I can go home because the sun's almost down and the no seams are real bad. Oh no, I think I broke my, uh, what's going on here? It won't turn off. I'm just gonna unplug it. What the heck was that all about? Hopefully not a big deal. Not sure what a, why I did that. It's time to go home, boys. As I'm driving home, I'm thinking, I haven't caught my target species today. I never caught that mangrove snapper and I'm a little disappointed in myself and I don't want to disappoint my viewers. So I think I'm going to try one more spot. Well, might as well try one more spot. I really wanted to catch a fish today. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm on. Bro, are you kidding me? I got a fish, I got a fish, I got a fish. Oh, oh. <laughs> Just on the jig head. <laughs> a snapper, my target species. I almost was not even gonna stop. Oh, mangrove snapper. He might just be legal size, but I didn't bring a measuring stick. If he was like a lot bigger, I would keep him. Look at him. You see him trying to snap? That's why they're called snappers, I think, because they're just it's so snappy. He's snappy, but uh, we'll let him go. I'm so stoked. We did it. Target species acquired. Good day on the John boat. Might as well cast one more time. All I'm casting out is this weighted yellowtail hook and uh, I chuck it out and I like violently flick it around, like pretty violently flicking it. Like we got a nice flow of water right here. I think this spot with some live pilchards, we would be slaying them right now. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna be a master little mangrove backcountry boy here until uh, my offshore boat gets repowered. These next few months, I'm gonna become a freaking professional back here. I'm gonna be catching lunkers, dog, lunkers. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty stoked right now. I'm very happy. In terms of fish, today wasn't like a massive day or anything, but I just got a hit again. I just had a snapper strike at it. It wasn't a very big snapper, but still, <laughs> this is really fun for some. <laughs> I'm having a blast right now. I don't know. This is great. I hope the trolling motor issue isn't a serious one. I don't know why it was doing that. Maybe something got like finicky in the, I'm, I'm going to look at that later. On a bright note, this engine has been idling for like five minutes now and it hasn't clonked out so that's a really good sign we're gonna do one more cast last cast boys last cast all right all right last cast off the front of the boat off the bow last cast off the bow okay okay i'm putting it away i'm putting it away you know what i wasn't gonna do this but i actually do have another beer and i'm gonna drink it cheers everybody we're almost back home i'm gonna drive it right up onto the right up onto the the ramp Oh shit, coming in hot, bro! <laughs> coming. Well, well, well. That was a great docking job. I gotta say, we're gonna have a lot of fun together. Mm -hmm.